هذا التسجيل هو عمل تطوعي مقدم من مبادرة بصيرة للأشخاص المكفوفين وضعاف البصر بالتعاون مع المجلس الأعلى لحقوق الأشخاص ذوي الإعاقة Action Pack 10 10th Grade Activity Book Unit 8 Earth Vocabulary Exercise 1 Find the words for the following definitions. The first letter of each word is given to you. Number 1 The remains of an animal or plant preserved inside a rock is The word starts with the letter F. So what word that starts with the letter F? That means remains of an animal or plant preserved inside a rock. The correct answer is fossil. Now find the answers for the following sentences. Number two. A rock that moves around the sun. The word starts with the letter A. Three. Unexpected and filled with action. Starts with the letter D. Four. When the earth explodes inside and causes material to flow out, the word starts with the letter E. Five, the material that the outer layer of the earth is made of. It starts with the letter R. Six, the period in time when the northern hemisphere was covered with ice. This has two words. The first word starts with the letter I. And the second word is with, starts with the letter A. Grammar, exercise two. Complete the sentences with a correct relative pronoun. Number one. This phone, comma, blank, I bought second hand, comma, is just as good as any new model. The correct answer here is which. This phone, which I bought second-hand, is just as good as any new model. Now find the correct relative pronouns for the other sentences. Number two. That girl, comma, blank, name of forgotten, comma, goes to my school. Number three, Al-Zahrawi, comma, blank was a surgeon, comma, developed many medical instruments still in use today. Number four, people say the author's latest book, comma, blank I haven't read yet, is quite good. Number five. Global warming, comma, blank is a subject I'm very interested in, comma, is the topic of the conference. Exercise 
three. Add the correct non-defining relative clause A to F to the sentences one through six. The non-defining relative clauses are A, where actors first performed Shakespeare's plays. B, which the author first wrote in 1920. C, which is a huge city. D, who is still a student. E, whose name is Miss Amal. F, who lives in Canada. Choose one of these non-defining relative clauses to fill in the blanks in the following sentences. Sentence 1. Lagos, comma, blank, comma, has a population of about 12 million. Do you fill in the blank with... A, where actors first performed Shakespeare's plays. B, which the author first wrote in 1920. C, which is a huge city. D, who is still a student. E, whose name is Miss Amal. Or F, who lives in Canada. The correct answer is C, which is a huge city. So the sentence is, Lagos, which is a huge city, has a population of about 12 million. Now do the same for the rest of the sentences. Sentence 2. Omar, comma, blank, comma, is a part-time waiter at a restaurant. Do you fill in the blank with A, where actors first performed Shakespeare's plays, B, which the author first wrote in 1920, C, which is a huge city, D, who is still a student, E, whose name is Miss Amal, or F, who lives in Canada. Sentence 3. The original Globe Theatre, comma, blank, comma, burnt down. Is it A, where actors first performed Shakespeare's plays? B, which the author first wrote in 1920? C, which is a huge city. D, who is still a student. E, whose name is Miss Amal. Or F, who lives in Canada. Sentence 4. My English teacher, comma, blank, comma, comes from Jordan. Do you fill in the blank with A, where actors first performed Shakespeare's plays, B, which the author first wrote in 1920, C, which is a huge city, D, who is still a student, E, whose name is Miss Amal, or F, who lives in Canada. Sentence 5. The book, comma, blank, comma, has become a bestseller once again. Do you fill in the blank with A, where actors first performed Shakespeare's plays? B, which the author first wrote in 1920? 
C, which is a huge city. D, who is still a student. E, whose name is Miss Amal. Or F, who lives in Canada. Sentence 6. My cousin, comma, blank, comma, is coming to visit us. Do you fill in the blank with A, where actors first performed Shakespeare's plays? B, which the author first wrote in 1920? C, which is a huge city? D, who is still a student? E, whose name is Miss Amal? Or F, who lives in Canada? Vocabulary. Exercise 4. Complete the text about a volcano in Indonesia with the words from the box. The words in the box are blocked, dark, dramatic, fertile, froze, provide, Warm, small. Now the text. The Mount Tambora Volcano. The eruption of Indonesia's Mount Tambora on 5th April 1815 was one of the most blank eruptions in history. Do you fill in the blank with blocked, dark, dramatic, fertile, froze, provide, warm, or small? The correct answer is dramatic. It was one of the most dramatic eruptions in history. Signs of the eruption began when a blank cloud of ash formed over the mountain. Do you fill in the blank with blocked, dark, fertile, froze, provide, warm, or small? The eruption blank out part of the sun's light for months afterwards. Do you fill in the blank with blocked, dark, fertile, froze, provide, warm, or small? June, July, and August, which were usually blank months, were extremely cold across Europe and North America that year. Do you fill in the blank with blocked, dark, fertile, froze, provide, warm, or small? That's why 1816 was called the year without a summer. All over the world, crops failed and farmers had to kill their cattle to blank food. Do you fill the blank with blocked, dark, fertile, froze, provide, warm or small? At least 300,000 people starved or blank, blocked, dark, fertile, froze, provide, warm, or small. 
In Indonesia, it took five years before the ground became blank enough for plants to grow again. Do you fill in the blank with blocked, dark, fertile, froze, provide, warm, or small? Exercise 5. Use the words from the box in exercise 4 to put them under the two headings in the table below. The two headings are adjectives and verbs. The words in the box from exercise 4 are blocked dark, dramatic, fertile, froze, provide, warm, or small. So first, I take the first word, which is blocked. Is blocked an adjective or a verb? The correct answer is verb. So blocked is a verb. Now do the same for the rest of the words. Put them under adjectives or under verbs. Writing, exercise six. Join the sentences using the relative pronouns in brackets to make non-defining relative cl clauses. Number one, in 1812, Petra was discovered. It was one of the ancient world's lost cities. The relative pronoun in the brackets is which. So your answer should be Petra, comma, which was discovered in 1812, comma, was one of the ancient world's lost cities. Now do the same for the rest of the sentences. Number two. Jean-Louis Burkhardt is a Swiss traveler and explorer. He discovered Petra. The relative pronoun you have to use is who. Now rewrite the sentence using the relative pronoun. Number three. Jean-Louis Burkhardt began his long expedition in 1810. His main purpose was to find the source of the river Niger. The relative pronoun is whose. Now rewrite the sentence. Number four. A local guide helped him find the tomb of Aaron. He was employed by Burkhardt. The relative pronoun here is who. Number five. Petra is now Jordan's most visited tourist attraction. It is famous for its amazing architecture and water system. The relative pronoun here that needs to be used is which. Reading. Exercise 7. Read about volcanoes and choose the correct answers. There are around 1,510 active volcanoes in the world. We currently know of 80 or more 
which are under the oceans. When these volcanoes erupt, they can cause tsunamis, floods, and earthquakes. Around 1.5 million years ago, some of the youngest volcanoes in Jordan were active. Back then, these volcanoes, like all other volcanoes, exploded when their top split open and the magma, under huge pressure inside the earth, bubbled up and erupted through the crack. The many eruptions that happened back then resulted in the hardened lava that today covers almost 17% of Jordan. The cover is referred to as basalt. If you would like to see this basalt cover, you must visit the North Arabian Basalt Plateau, which covers an area of about 11,000 square kilometers in the northeast of Jordan. At present, more than 40 volcanic centers can be easily found in Jordan. The northeastern part of Jordan is the best destination for visiting volcanoes. An example of a complete and an undamaged volcano that can be seen from Azraq al Jabal Aritain, Safawi. Luckily, these natural Jordanian volcanoes are now safe and no longer active. Now choose the correct answer for each question. Question 1. What happens to the magma when the top of a volcano splits open? Is it A. It bubbles up and erupts? B. It stays inside the volcano? Or C. It turns into ashes? The correct answer here is A. It bubbles up and erupts. Number two. What covers almost 17% of Jordan today? Is it A. Magma? B. Crust? Or C. Basalt? Three, what happened to the volcanoes in Jordan? A. They disappeared. B. They are no longer active. C. They exploded. Four, how many natural volcanoes can still be found in Jordan today? A. More than 80 B. More than 40 C. None 5. Which one is an example of a volcano in Jordan? Is it A. Azraq B. The North Arabian Basalt Plateau or C. Jabal Arit Ain. Exercise 8. Find words in the text with the following meanings. You can listen to the text again to find the words for the following. 1. Hot melted rocks inside the earth. So the correct answer for this one is magma. 2. The hot material that flows down the surface of the earth after an eruption. 3. A line on the surface of something that has split but hasn't separated into parts. 
4. A volcanic rock formed from the fast cooling of lava. Five, a force applied to something. Six, become more intense and about to blow up. Writing, a newspaper article about a disaster. Exercise nine. Choose one of the following world disasters to research. An earthquake, a tsunami, a drought, a flood, an avalanche, a tornado. So after choosing one of these world disasters to research. These are some words that could be useful. Sun, rain, wind, cloud, crops, trigger, manata athara, despair, yes, devastate, yudamir, Suffer, yu'ani. Wash away, yajruf. Rescue, yanqiv. Disease, da. Escape, yahrub. Destroy, yahdim. Damage, darar. Starving, tajwiyah, dry, umad. Make notes about the disaster and its causes and consequences. You can answer these questions to help you write your article. Where did it happen and when? What happened? What were the causes? What were the consequences? Exercise 10. Now write a newspaper article describing the disaster. You can write this article with all the notes you took in exercise 9.